matter if it's done in memoriam or in celebration, it creates a problem floating across the country. As we wrap up Earth Month, Ronnie from Ellsworth wanted to better understand how do balloon releases impact the environment? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned where many balloons end up and found some safer alternatives. Visually, it can be awe-inspiring, but symbolically, balloon releases mean more than just a colorful display drifting into the sky. You're releasing emotion, sorrow, you know, you're sending something up to heaven, but... Kristen Trainer, They're not healthy for the environment. ...owns the Corner Balloon Shop in Maple Grove. What is your understanding about what can happen to the environment when balloons are released? Well, I know they go up until the pressure just basically explodes them and they come back down in spaghetti pieces. Releasing balloons is like slowly littering, possibly miles from where the person let them go. We try to deter people, but you know, I get it. But some of the, you know, impacts might not be readily known to folks when they're doing balloon releases. Olivia Rita works for the Alliance for the Great Lakes, a nonprofit with a mission to protect the massive bodies of water spanning the Midwest which all too often end up as landing zones for balloons or pieces of them. For 20 years, it had cleanup crews track the litter found along the lake shores. Throughout those years, the total number of balloons we found was 118,887. Are all of them biodegradable? Just the latex. So which ones aren't? Like the foils. Is that what mylar is? Yes, is that what yes. The shiny mylar balloons never break down, only becoming smaller pieces of plastic. Latex balloons biodegrade, but it takes months, and sadly, animals often eat or get tangled up in their remnants. Especially with um, sort of like the latex balloons, like they might even look kind of like things in the water that they would normally eat. Mylar balloons present another danger. Their metallic coating conducts electricity, so if they hit a power line, they can cause an outage or fire. That specific issue led California to ban them. In fact, there are 10 states in the U.S. with laws against balloon releases, with exceptions for hot air balloons or scientific research, like weather balloons. You just got to be responsible. Laws or not, some are taking action. Several colleges, like the University of Nebraska, have stopped balloon releases at football games, while people explore sustainable ideas to honor loved ones, like planting trees. A tree is nice because that's something that would kind of, you know, I'm laughed into the future. With photojournalist Jose Pascual, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. In addition to planting a tree, other options include dropping flower petals into a stream or releasing bubbles in the air. Thanks to Ronnie for tonight's good question. You can send yours by visiting WCCO.com.